But you know what? That was back when we weren't like What's that, Nicole? we were not super sensitive. Hey Nicole, we, like, we, we were not super sensitive. Listen, guys, welcome to Freedom Fridays Candid Convos with T and Kia. Yeah, yeah, bitches. I don't know what to call you anymore. Medium, getting damn near invisible. No, but your brand. So you are what? T Pearson? Oh, uh, the T Pearson experience. Yeah, so TPX, baby, the rebranding so coming soon. Because it's like X for experience. Well, experience start with E. Not if you're doing it like the new net, the <laughs> new retro wait, way. Wait a minute. The what new is... retro way is oh, like oh, the oh, X. Oh. Like when I said like a um, what did I say? A something for, a, a for effort, and you was like, here, yeah, no, it's an E. I said, but no, but you get an A and as a grade. And y'all must have missed this. Did y'all miss this shit right here? <laughs> oh Everything was an explanation. Listen, guys. We have something really, really popping going on in here Why today. Why are you on the screen? What you change that? Oh, you talking? Ooh, listen. Ooh, sorry, yeah. guys. Listen. <laughs> no, no, because last time we did the show, I was over in my zone it's and you funny. over in your zone. But listen, guys, let me just tell y'all something. I'm going to count to three, and I want you guys to make some noise. Listen, for our live freaking audience tonight, the Candy yes, 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 yes. One, two, three. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let's do it again. I love freaking candy. Wait a minute, this is our first time having a complete Y'all can't see it, but we're here. Audience we're here, here, baby. We're here. Let's we're do here. it again. Woo! We're here, baby. Yeah. We're here. Yeah. We're here. We're here. We're here. Yes, guys. Yes, I'm Because I didn't want them getting in another accident. 
and give me another Toyota. I would have made an earring set out of oh, two. Well. Listen. So anyway, I'm guys. Like anyway, guys, again. Toyota. Wait. Rock more with your bad stuff. <laughs> she done lost a couple pounds and she don't even know what And listen, it is. says it gives you energy and I got it. <laughs> you do. And I went to the dispensary and picked up my medication. Okay, that's okay. And listen, so, guys, today we are going to dig into candy combos. My name, like my listen. name. <laughs> Welcome, guys, to Freedom Friday. <laughs> candy combos with damn invisible tea. That's me. And, and your, and your co-host. Yes, we are. We are. Listen, we are going to, believe it or not, Dig into what we where we left off at in our last show where we talked about mental yes, health man. matter. Yes, mental man. Health mattering. Why are we talking about mental health? Yes, mental man. Health. <laughs> <laughs> mental health. Yes, we're gonna do a wrap up show for that, but not before we catch up with you guys because it's been a little while yes, and a lot man. of things has been happening. So, like before we do that, we might have some new people joining us today. So we should probably do some disclaimers about what candid convos with T and Kia is and is fucking not. So you know what? Let's, let's do this. Let's do this. All right. So you guys, do you think they can hear our audience? Okay. So I'm going to go around. What What is candid convos not, Gemma? Mm. Okay. Not okay. It's fine. It's not for children. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yes, candid convos is an adult after hours kind of thing where we talk about sucking up and sucking up and sucking up. And in between all of that, we talk about politics and what's going on in our community. <laughs> I mean, well, all wrapped up I mean, in so we know, girl, we can see why my name not showing up. Hold on. And, then, and, we, and that's why, and, and our hashtag is always fuck them kids. I'm not you hear me? <laughs> and if y'all were paying attention in the group, I, I put a post up of where it came from. It came from Rest in peace, Bernie Mac. Yes, all right. Yes. And so it's about fucking them. I'm, no, hold on. Let me back up. Let me, yeah, don't, I, don't, do this, don't, don't, don't do that. I'm going to put a G. Y'all, listen. Don't do that. No, let me back up. So I'm a child. I'm a survivor of sexual assault. Right. Right. So watch your mouth. For that. Watch. And so we do not condone any violence against children. However, <laughs> sometimes they got to get fucked up. All okay, right. So anyway, so fuck them kids, me. Today going? is Friday. So take right. your little bra off. You, you know, you take your tighty whities off. Let your balls hang to the side. That's you know, that's what you want to do. You air your little pussy lips out. If that's what you want to do. Yeah, that's what you want to do. And them kids is fine. They you done been with them all week. They is fine. Absolutely. They eat noodles and noodles today. They is fine. I had several and they're fine. If they eat I'm Vienna sausages out the can, they is fine. Well, why don't they eat the Vienna sausages like we used to eat them? Because I somebody got told them to eat <laughs> We just yeah. said we're not going to the little things in our mouth. And basically, right, Amisha, it means the hell with them. Let's get it for adults. That's what I'm saying. Take your bra off and all that shit. Listen, let me just tell y'all something. We are so happy to have our live studio audience here with us. Thank you guys so much for joining us and being flexible enough to join us, even though we are an hour late. Right. And for your name to show up, I'm going to put got to do but basically you got to go into your settings for your facebook and you got to do permissions and you got to give Streamyard permission to use your name on the live feed mm -hmm. so you have to do that in order for your name to kind of pop up mm -hmm. like uh like Gemma name pops up because she went and did it mm -hmm. amisha, amisha, amisha don't because you got to go click through your settings but don't do that shit now because that means you will leave and my number's gonna go down so stay here and do the shit later we know who you are <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah. listen, this is, a, listen, before we get into like what this mm. month is, oh, no, I want to say, really I want to say this. Thank yeah. you guys so much for all of the happy birthday yeah. wishes you guys gave me. I had such a good birthday. See, thank you so much for an amazing birthday. You rock so much. I adore you. Thank you so much. Ish Monkey D. Thank you guys. Thank, thank you to everyone that wished me happy birthday and got me really amazing gifts. Thank you. Yes. So, how old am I? Old as shit. I'm 44. Uh, I'm not scared to say that. Oh, well, don't you know, like me to do that? I'm just so you do you know my damn age? I'm just trying to see how much you know. I know how old you are. Okay, well, look, we talking about getting choked. You talking about ages and shit. Yeah. 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 We talking about getting choked. She said, How old am I? Like I'm at the carnival. What you want a damn teddy bear? You want this pillow. You want a pillow. Listen, you guess right. She, she want a pillow. You want a pillow. She just respectful. She just respectful. So anyway, guys, this month is an important month. Why? 
for a number of reasons. But why? Why we have all these colors on? Why is peachy peach? Why? why what is what is this? Girl, month? listen, because I'm like, wait, what practice is this today? motherfucking <laughs> mom? This month is June. First of all, fucking pride, my baby. First of all, it's pride. Yes, it is. And I got my shirt. That's right. That's right. I got that for all our beautiful, beautiful queer babies. Let me lift my fat ass up. Hold on. Let me lift my fat ass up. Hold on. No, listen, because this is my mood today. Okay, okay. What, 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 and did y'all see that flat ass stomach, though? Did I, <laughs> ask me what I'm doing. <laughs> you seen it. Stomach on flat, flat balls on big, big. You know what I mean? She said a Yes, guys. So happy Pride Month. We should say hi. Oh, Stream Yard. I'm here. That's yes, you here. Fine. So how do you guys really celebrating? I know V and I printed out stuff from New York. Hold and on. We have a good time. And I will be remiss. I know what you're supposed to say when you get professional. I will be remiss if I do not mention that June is also the month of the graduates. So shout out to yes. the graduates. Yes. Yes. My baby graduating middle school. It sure is. Yes. Yes. We got the middle school. We got to celebrate the birthday. We, we got high school. We're about to have high schoolers. Oh my God. And she turned 14. And we having a little shindig at the house for, you know what I'm saying, next Saturday. A 90s throwback. Cause she my baby. You know what I'm saying? So she's 90s all the way. So if y'all want, if y'all in DMV and y'all want swing pass, we got enough space for you. So hit me up. I can see you the address. You know what I'm saying? Bring a bottle for the um that's shit, kid part. Bring some huggies or some shit. Cause we're doing 90s. No, we got we got no if it's 90s, then we definitely gonna have. We and the motherfucking booze farms. But I got to go all for me. So we gonna have nineties music too. Yeah, we got a DJ, DJ, uh, DJ Doc. Was she coming? DJ Surya. You know some little turn up. You know what I'm saying? We got. Some tents. We got a moon bounce. We got a trampoline. Mm -hmm. Um, the cicadas is we doing security the security around the perimeter. <laughs> they not in the middle because I ain't got no trees in the middle. I'm getting, you know I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting. Man, we're gonna have a water, a water gun fight. We're gonna turn up for my baby oh, because yeah. she deserves it. That's and right. bring y'all graduates so we can shout their asses out too. Because if y'all ain't doing shit for y'all graduate, let's make this one big ass graduate party yeah. for the kids. Yeah. And we're gonna turn. We, we shot them off. So yeah, let's I can't it. wait for the music. I'm going to wear a 90s outfit. Oh, Cisco. I ain't fucking looking like a crack. That's us look crack. I'm not messing with Cisco. Oh, but a, oh, Cisco. Girl, Cisco. I had Cisco in college. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. No, Cisco. Oh, yeah. Thinking I was driving what off the bridge and we was at a red what light. About okay. Mad, what about I'm Mad Dog 2020? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to wear Mad Dog 2020. Mad Dog 2020. And Taylor Port. Yes, yes, yes. yes. made a comeback. Now that's my mixing it with Hennessy. Oh, you know that teleport is strong. Yeah. Teleport, yeah. teleport is yeah. strong. Yeah. Teleport is like good. that's shit like Roman testing in the bar. Oh, y'all remember that's Thunderbird? Right. That's Thunderbird. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, no, no, but wait, before we do that, right. listen, I'm just asking your question. Listen, thank you. Y'all ready for sip and sit? Right, let's do that. That's who you because y'all had no never time. Have, never, never, have, never have, have, have ever style. Never, never, never. For the new people, welcome. This is what we do. Yes. We sit out of here from We got our friends and family here. Y'all want to eat this? Part of life. Let us know too. We do. You know what I'm saying? As long as we equal, like half vaccinated, half ain't, we can kind of level the shit out. You know what I'm saying? And then and then we can use sanitizer and microderm the shit out of y'all stuff. But either way, if you want to be here, let us know. Oh, just keep the mask on. We can just keep the mask on. No, I ain't nobody breathing through no mask and smoking at the I mean, uh what? And listen, <laughs> do y'all got y'all never have ever because we ready to motherfucking party. Right, and we already have people live here with never have ever. We do, we do. Okay. All right. And and listen, we you already know peaches in the building. This shit might end oh, up a goddamn yeah. charade yeah. situation. Okay, well, but, okay. So, so listen. So listen. So never have I ever <clears throat> deep throated a pee penis. You ain't even finished letting us do the rules. Uh, sorry, Damn, she be so talking about deep throat. She always do something in her fucking throat. Listen, and one of the other one of the other disclaimers I forgot to mention is that we curse, curse, cuss, whatever. If you put the R or the S. I thought, we, she said, I thought she said, 
Listen, I, I didn't. Listen, you're right, you're right, so you're we right. cursed and cussed with that laugh like shit. Look, so look, we did we say this on the dog show? <laughs> I was in the army, hung out with the navy, hung out with a couple more marines, and they they oh they like to do it good. That's oh, another. That's another. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna bring it back. I'm gonna bring it back. And Did military appreciation like month, we, we we missed that too. And shout out to my other vets, right. Jim a battle buddy who yes. yes. Jessica uh, battle buddy who. Listen, um, but that was the other part of this claim. And so the rules for the sip of sit, if you did the shit you drink, if you think you might have did it, explain it away like he did, but still take a drink. You can take a half drink, a quarter of a drink, a full drink, but you drinking something. It's called it's called, you know, it's called yeah. write it down. Add it to your list of shit to do. Because it might be freaky. You hear me? Right. Somebody, Tony said, what you say about a dick? Right. Now they try to go back. <laughs> so we just got to be like, with my, my my never have I ever is a bro basic one. So never have I ever <laughs> deep throated a nice, big, never. juicy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 With some girls. <laughs> With some girls. <laughs> what we doing? If you, what was the question? Never have a what? Deep throated, a nice, fat, juicy, girth that did. I look up, I need drink. <laughs> Hello, done with the girl. We only had, we only had one person did drink out the group because he's a dude. And he said, "Me too." No, he said, "You know, he he he's an all out for proud." He said, "He's an all out for proud," but he ain't had no shit in his mouth. All right. So, but, but you think if a man suck another man's dick, he gay though? Because yeah. Tank said they not. So <laughs> <laughs> Tank said, Tank said they got tried twice. Right? So Tank said he got to do it again to see. He said, he said, he said, he said "Let me see what you saw." Huh? Yeah. Hey, what's up, Veronica? Veronica in the building. Hey, Welcome to Candy Combos with Tia Kid. We got a live audience for the first time. Like, usually, it'd be Jimba and Tori. Yeah. Usually, be, we be, yeah, we be four deep. But today, we got an audience in this job, baby. So, if y'all want to join the party, let us know. And we've been hoopering, you know, before 20 and, <clears throat> and drinking. So, I see beats. Actually, V did um take me to the to a hookah lounge for the first time. I really Turn enjoyed it. I really enjoyed One day it. in band camp. So the next um no. <laughs> Ow! You ow! Ow! You know my disabled veteran. You see that? Y'all see it? Y'all know my disabled veteran, and I gotta get Botox and shit, and my forehead don't move because of 12 years of Botox. 12 years of slave, I ain't got shit on my Botox. So he said, Amisha's got a good never have I ever. Listen, now, there's, now I got a crack. And look at my fat ass arm busting out this sleeve. Let me put my shit. <laughs> All right, Amisha's got, Amisha got one. All right, Amisha. Never have I ever had a foursome. Oh, shit. Basically, that's what it is. An orgy, but with fours. Now ain't no threesome. She said, fuck the three. Where's the four? If you had a foursome. So that would probably be, yeah, a gangbang, a train, a orgy. I don't think I had four. I had four holes. Damn, Amisha. Do the four holes kill it or you got to be four you different people? Now? You need I need clarity. I need clarity. Please, y'all see something. Y'all see something. Y'all see something. Y'all see something. I'm gonna wait. Okay, go ahead, Vinny. We got questions. What? Wait a minute. Somebody said they did. What our audience member said they did. Had a foursome? Oh, shit. Had a foursome? He had a. Foursome? You had a, he had a Damon, you had a foursome? Oh, shit. Look at it. Look at that. Look at that. We had a foursome. Look, now we got questions. That we don't need no names. Yeah, we don't need no names. What you said? We don't need so no what's names. It, so was it three dudes and a girl? Bro, we need one of them. We need details. Is it three? Was it, it three dudes and a girl? Three dudes and a girl. Three dudes and a girl. I guess Oh, no. Oh, somebody got an orgy. Okay. Uh, what's up, sis? What's up? We got Mondee. Hey, Louise. Louise, say happy birthday. Right. 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 Right.
right. So, so listen, we know what kind of audience we got today, yeah. don't we? So let me so let me see if we I got one, my military one. Oh fuck. We and honor military appreciation, Ma. Where you go? Drink if you ever uh, if you ever fuck the military do in a birds. In a birds. Why she reach for the glass? Oh, well, why, oh, why, why, why certain really people good. reach for the glass so yeah. fast? Yeah. The go, yeah. You gotta get somebody rules. What's against the rules? Yes, you can. That's what you mean. Why? Y'all have nothing to do. I don't know what they're talking about. Hey, that's so mad. Yes, yes. We're gonna vibe for a minute. We don't own this song, give it up. We don't own that. I like the last Hey! I like the last We got pizza down there. Hey! 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 Happy cry, baby. Yes. 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 Bring your little nasty ass stuff in here and watch Candy Congo. So y'all know y'all ain't doing shit anyway. Yeah, I definitely want one more to drink. Hey! Yeah. Hey, let's go, baby. Hey, we got a little brother in the building. Hey, what's up, bro? We got a little brother in the building. What's up, bro? What's up, baby? I like me. My dad said, I wear a lot of my Don't wear a lot of my Yeah. Yeah. Take it all tonight. night. It's Freedom Friday, baby. Yeah, we had to do it. We had to do it. We had to do it. See? That's because I've been drinking. Mm -hmm. Welcome back from your commercial break. Uh, we yeah. back with a sip and sip. Yes, we are. We are. Who else has a sip and sip? Come right, on, right, right, right. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Y'all heard all that? Thumbs up if you heard all that. So basically, she like, I you know, basically, she can't summarize this yes, shit. Yes, yes, yes. She said she did she what? Basically said she 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 sucked the joke. Yeah, uh huh. And so he came. Uh huh. Then she swallowed it, brought the shit back up, no, spit it. Hold on, hold on. Oh, she ain't swallowed it yet. Hold on, she 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 she, she, she sucked it. She sucked it till he came. Uh -huh. Then she spit it on his ass. Uh huh. Then she licked it back up. Uh huh. Yes. 
Nice. Okay. That's okay. Worship us to try. Hey. 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 Let me do the Freedom Friday, baby. Yeah. We back, baby. Yeah. We got a live audience, baby. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, let's go, baby. Uh -oh. Somebody said they had to try it. Somebody said they had to try it. They're like that. They said they called the split of skirt. I wish you said throw the load of bubbles on it. Who was load of bubbles? And what's up, Princess? Hey, you know we nasty. Hey, what's up, Princess? You know we nasty. Yes, Y'all know we in the house. Yes, the room's in the house. Yes, baby. Y'all know we nasty. This is our fucking pride. This is our pride edition. We welcome it. Bringing in pride the right way, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are all inclusive. Let's teach our kids how to be loving, That's how it. to be accepting, That's no it. matter what. That's all right, it. we ain't trying to we ain't trying raise no homophobic ass crazy That's kids. It. So I'm telling you right now, listen, we are all inclusive and all loving. Okay? Yes, yes, yes. That's yes. it. Yes. 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 This has been a really fun sip and sip. This has been a real good sip and sip. Oh, it is. I like this. Yeah, I like that. this. Listen, I got pride and deep throat, as she said. <laughs> what you saying, baby? It's what you want. Hey! 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 Yeah. 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 Like Jimmy Wood. Ah! Yeah. 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 This is the Right. I needed it. I, we got a hat. I needed it, baby. Listen, guys. Listen, guys. Thank y'all so much for rocking out with our asses. We crazy. Right. We crazy. Listen. So, listen, guys. I, we haven't seen you guys in a hey, while. Hey, five second roses. Five second roses. Just and pick that bitch up and eat. Are you, are you in the motherfucking house? Yeah. Oh no! Don't eat that shit. <laughs> don't eat that shit. Listen, don't eat that shit. Yes, let's talk about everybody. Raina, Raina. 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 open. I'm trying to come, sis. Like real shit. Amisha, Jody, Tony. Yes. 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 The fuck have we been up to? Because they haven't seen us in like what two weeks? It's been a minute. Yeah, we've been like we haven't done like two shows. Yeah. So what's been going on? You saw first. What's happening? What's happening? What's been going on? I'm losing my fucking mind. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping I didn't get to go first. I'm losing my fucking mind. This shit right here, y'all see is a mask. This is good weed. I mean medication. And 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 Medication. medication. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. But I'm losing my mind. I found out my body is breaking the fuck down and I can't do nothing to stop mm -hmm. it. But the party, party, party. And so that's why we're turning up today because I got some shit I ain't happy about. But we're gonna party till the motherfucking wheels come on. That's right, baby. You're gonna right. give me a wheelchair and bling that bitch out. That's fine. And and put horns on it and get We ain't even claiming no wheelchair, first and yeah. foremost. Okay? And I'm too but I'm losing my weight. We're so I'm gonna be the seat of porch. We're not speaking no motherfucking wheelchair into existence. And Amisha, I'm gonna need you to bling that. my horn and shit out. Let's just say that. We're but you know, listen, the doctors ain't got it. So no, you know, I'm no. I'm gonna do what I gotta do. But 
that's what the fuck I've been up to. And um, shaking and baking. Okay, hosting, hosting, hosting. Right. Hey, listen, I hosted this bomb ass. Shout out to Mr. and Mrs. James Mark. Yes, congratulations. congratulations. Yes, host that wedding in the rain with 150 motherfucking people. And we mm-hmm. party. You hear me? Sure I ain't have a voice for four days after that, but we party. <laughs> and shout out to y'all. Um, the T brand, the T yes. the T brand is coming. I was up all night working on a website. Yes. The shit is coming. Uh, how you a motherfucker? Yeah, like, that's I know how to. Yeah. 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 and I know how to not cuss and shit. So like, I can do church shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And you know, so like, yeah, hold that motherfucker. Up. Yeah, yes, let's let's do that. Book. <laughs> We're just been booked and busy. Booked and busy. And shout out to my manager, you know what I'm saying? My good sister Brandy. Her birthday tomorrow. Oh, right. Her birthday tomorrow. We're yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to the good sister Danelle. Danelle's birthday today. Good sister. You know what I'm saying? My oldest godson graduated college last week. Shout out to you. Yes, I do that. The new five, you know, like, that shit. Happy birthday to my manager. I know. Oh, wait. And, and you know what? And Tish called me earlier today. One of our Candy Convo family members. That's what I'm with you, little Misha. Fuck them oh, doctors. You God. already know me and you know. Down down me and you know. Down down down. Down. I done been dead a whole bunch of times and I bought my goofy ass, but so um, fuck back and last. This was promoted today, by the way. Shout out yes, promotions. Yes. We need for all of them. Yes. Shout out promotions. So congratulations to my bonus daughter. That's correct. Yes. correct. Oh. Yes, she was. Yes, she was. Yes, she was. Yes, she was. So listen, y'all, big things happening with T. And of course, y'all know in her journey, no matter how she's healing, whether it's mentally, emotionally, or physically, you know she's going to share. Oh, sexually. Even if it- <laughs> I'm running this chair, but... <laughs> I'm trying to be serious. <laughs> I can't be fucking serious. That's part of a sex party. And I, uh, um, me, as I said, guys, and you I need some therapeutic. Uh uh, Tony, Tony, hurry up and get that certification. No, I don't want no therapist. I need a, a on hand, um, ma'am. I'm visual, ma'am. I'm a visual ma'am. learner. Ma'am. 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 Oh, yeah. So, listen, guys, I actually, before that, I okay. actually took a weekend away by myself. So, like, I was a so, really, I, I did. I did. Home. Yeah. Home. That was major. I'm not going to let her skip over no, that. No, I'm not skipping over. I'm getting to it. See, this is what I'm going to moderate it for, for, uh, for your group. Because you jump in and you don't see my, my transition. See, that's all that. Anyway, so guys, I was very intentional about taking a weekend away by myself. I don't know if any of you have ever tried that. Um, I've always... <laughs> she just had to kick me out one time. <laughs> she was talking too fucking smart. But it's my time. You can't be sitting here talking. But do I have to be smart like that with all these people watching? You cannot dictate what my time. What the fuck turn. is the picture? Oh, what is this? Oh, what the fuck is this? That's why my, ma- my wash matching shirt. The fuck? Go ahead. Keep talking to me. I just told y'all I was having a mental health day. And this disrespectful bitch will keep on pull, 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 pull her finger. You see? And she know I got PTSD. I'm a disabled veteran. Y'all got to witness this shit on live. And when the fuck I snap. <laughs> Why the blast is coming down? Why the glass is coming down? Why the glass is coming down? No. When you are stable. You hear me? Oh, my God. But don't all this. Don't all this. The fuck is all of this? But go ahead. Oh, my God. So, anyway, God. I'm like, oh, yeah, West. I'm going to let you finish. Go fix your glass. <laughs> but these glasses. So, anyway, guys, I don't know if you guys have ever tried this, um, but I have been wanting to have a weekend away by myself for a really long time. But, you know, being in a relationship is always the questions. You know, why do you want to be by yourself? What you trying to do? Why are you trying to do it? Yada, yada, yada. So, anyway. Also was scared of what I was going to do. Like, what the fuck am I going to do by myself for the whole fucking weekend? <laughs> right? So anyway, of course, my village, Ish Monk and V, um, even my stepmom and, of course, T, of course, they really encouraged me. So I actually took a don't weekend. Don't say my name. Um, don't be quiet. So I actually took the weekend by myself. And one of the things that I did, um, amongst other things, was finish Victim of Soldiers. So that's how I wanted to say that. <laughs> So, yes, guys, if you've heard me talking about um, my memoir, something that I've been working on um, that kind of tells um, tells tales about, um, well, real stories, not tales, I'm sorry, stories about what it's like. We got some up. more people coming for oh, the yeah, audience. Yeah, we got some audience coming in. So that book basically um, just kind of chronicles 
what it's been like um, growing up in a household with, you know, um, V and just my whole life period. Mm -hmm. So um, it is also promoting awareness about self-harm and self-injury, which, which, um, if I don't, if I don't come home tonight, tell me. Anyway, guys, so don't ignore the scars is um, an organization that also kind of helps promote awareness about congratulations. About, um, um, so anyway, guys, don't ignore the scars. Can we enjoy the congratulations for a second? I just want to congratulate you. Just congratulations. Hey, congratulations. Okay, <laughs> so listen, guys, you can even take me say congratulations. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. So anyway, so don't ignore the scars. Also, is something that is really important to us. So, mm -hmm. um, it promotes awareness, and I'm really serious about that. That's why I don't even use it because it's like when we're talking about self harm and self injury, there's really not a joking matter. It's really like, no, congratulations for the book. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank so, my thing is, um, the weekend alone gave me time to focus on Don't Ignore the Scars and to finish Victimless Soldiers, mm -hmm. which V contributed to. So, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for Nicole, your contributions, and helping me. Um, just V, just for you being so transparent and helping me through this process. And so I actually had a um, meeting with the publisher um, this week. And so in the next ooh, three ooh, months, ooh, ooh, yes, in the ooh, next three ooh, months, um, you guys will have the Killer Soldiers coming at you. So yes, that I'm really excited. Ooh, ooh. I'm really excited about that. Yes, 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 yes. Ooh, ooh, so we have some more folks that come in to join us. Yes, guys, this audience is lit right now. Yes. Yes, yes, yes you can. Now that I I'm apologize. Done I apologize for shutting in the middle. Oh, girl. Yeah, I was working in therapy about apologizing when I was wrong. Oh, it's so I apologize for being wrong. Okay, no problem. <laughs> so my therapist, yes. I did some work. I found that bitch on YouTube. Okay. Hey, welcome to Candy Clover. Yes, baby. And we play on TikTok. <laughs> I'm lying. I, I, let me admit that that was a lie. That was one of my personalities. I talked to him in order tonight. I told y'all I was fucked up tonight. Look, I told y'all. Like, right, that was like, I want to bitch on TikTok. I, so, you, listen. If you want to bitch on TikTok, send me. Okay. So, <laughs> take four of my bitches coming out tonight. So, I know that we want to talk about mental health. And guys, like, honestly, I'm glad we talked about the book and just all of the things that all of us are doing to continue to have the conversation about why mental health matters, yeah. especially in our black community and yeah. how we need to continue to work towards removing the stigma, yeah. right? Yeah. So I know all of us has heard about Naomi Osaki withdrawing from the French Open and all of this stuff about this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful brown girl and home. all of the negativity she had gotten because she simply said, I'm depressed mm -hmm. and I have anxiety mm -hmm. and I can't do it anymore. Mm -hmm. This young woman, it's 23 years old. But then she started like when she was like 16 yes. or something. Mm -hmm. And can you imagine the pressure? The mm -hmm. pressure? I mean, yeah, she's the same age as V. And so mm -hmm. my thing is, why are we at a point where it's like you want to bash someone because they won't fin they, they won't do a tennis match? I mean, and my thing is, I understand the the like people were saying, yes, like that guy Pierce. What's his last name, guys? That what what can stand him? Pierce Norm. Yes, Pierce. he was like Cece's that being a foil brand, and every time she has bad games, this is what she does. What the fuck is you talking about? And like they're not even taking into the issue that she is actually one of the social justice. Um, like you know, she be out there at the protest. She talks about mm -hmm, all the mm -hmm. social unjust things she that are going on, and like that is that's trauma. You yes, feel me? Yeah, like yeah. even for those of us that aren't directly involved with the violence Pierce at that Morgan. moment. Yeah. Pierce Morgan, right? Thanks, thanks at that Pierce moment, Morgan. then we are still victimized by like the viewing of it, of the yeah. conversation of it. Yeah. Yes. It's terrible. It's gotten to the point where I've had to withdraw from like watching shit anywhere oh, yeah. because like one video, George Floyd, oh my God, oh, I yeah. just got that video out of my head. Yeah. Uh -huh. oh, and yeah. like it has cycled over and yeah. over again, but yeah. that is trauma. Absolutely. And so for Naomi to be one of the people that likes to speak so high, you know, so much about the social unjust, 
she's she's in her own skin. You know, yeah. dealing with a social unjust, right? And so, like, to be victimized for stepping forward and saying my mental health is over this fucking game. Exactly. Like, come on, come on, come on, man. Come on, when she's there is full grass. Come on, man. I mean, that to me, on, like man. I said, we we have to do better. And that was some privileged shit. Yes. That was some privilege and some some yes. white entitled elite shit. Yes. For him to even have the ball. Okay. Yeah. That rubs all of my skin and the other white people, French people, however he identified yeah. on his checkbox, they should have laid into his ass because for one, she's a woman. Mm -hmm. For mm -hmm. two, she's a young woman, a mm -hmm. old enough to be his granddaughter with his old ass. Yes. And then for three, she has a right to say my mental health is above more anything. Than, than anything I'm else. sure his goofy ass done popped a couple pills and called the fuck in for work too. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. You see what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. His That's ass ain't showing the fuck to work a couple different times for sorting lines and shit behind the scenes. So why the fuck she can't call in to work? Tennis but is her job. Know, she know he was the same one that was talking shit about um, uh, Prince Charles' wife, uh, oh, Megan. Oh, um, oh, Megan. Oh, yeah, he was talking major shit. Everything that she said happened to her <laughs> that was racist, he was like, she's making me an all up. I get that. Go. There we go. Don't that's right. That's right. That's right. right. That's and right. That's like right. Tony said, yep. this is people black Twitter. Okay. Hold on. Why you did that? Let me read Tony since I got it up. Okay. Hold on. Pierce Morgan took a wrong error in his attempt to break a black woman. Oh, he did. Yes. 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 We, we ain't our great grandmothers. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Our grandmothers were sick. The, 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 I had to say great grandma because great grandma and them they was sit they was at home while the men was going to work. Yes. The grandmothers was sitting at the kitchen counters protesting and walking and shit. Yeah. And now it's us. Yeah. And we ready to light some shit up. The fuck. Um, said it started because um, Naomi didn't want to do the media interview. interview. Right. So he was petty. All yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. Amisha, I was diagnosed with anxiety, depression, and PTSD due to my stroke. Mental yeah. health is real scary. That's I'm gonna get out. I do have the show, write it down. I'm going to give y'all all my motherfucking page diagnosis. The one I told y'all, I'm about 13 pages in a DSM. I just need to check for it. But, but that's okay. But when, but when all 12 of my personalities show up at this motherfucking meeting, go, okay, they're going to be like, this, this, get this bitch, <laughs> set this bitch up for the back page today. Before she leave the office, let's get her a check. Because we don't want her to come back. We don't want her to come back. <laughs> I'm coming in in a wheelchair with one motherfucking wheel. Let me tell y'all real fast story. When I was at the airport coming from, where the fuck? Oh, we was coming from Houston, going to Houston. So, so I'm in the wheelchair because you know I ain't walking through no airport and shit. So the girl pushing me, right? So I'm sitting there like, okay, this shit feel me. a little different. Like, you know what I'm saying? I knew, but it felt like I was on gravel, but I was in the airport. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, you good? Like, you good? I'm asking the shot because I felt my little fat ass starting to roll to the right. And the last thing I want is to ask the mom. Janine, you remember I had one motherfucking wheel. Listen, I ain't lying. I tell y'all, I live in the Truman Show. People don't believe me. My life is the Truman Show. <laughs> so she's pushing me and shit. So I'm like, if I fall, I'm suing. Like, I already turned to Janine. I said, and hey, make sure you got your camera out. I said, if I go down, bitch, we miss the flight. And I'm going to the hospital. Like, I was dead ass. I'm disabled back, baby. I'm pulling my car. Quick. You hear me? So we keep pushing me and shit. So I'm like this the whole motherfucking ride. <laughs> this is the whole ride. But I can't say shit because we made it to the city. You ain't got to say it. So I'm bumping this shit. Why the fuck? We pushing. So then we get up there. I give her a little tip because you're supposed to tip, especially if you big like me. You tip a little extra. Right. Like, dang on the name. Look, the wheelchair was fucked up. See, I got a witness. I'm, listen. So we get up there and shit, right? And so I look. And I'm like, I'm trying to figure out why the fuck I feel like I'm sitting on a flat Southwest, okay? So I look the fuck over why the fuck I really had one inner tube. This wheel had an inner tube. This shit was just a rim. This bitch pushed my fat ass through the airport on one rim. Oh, it didn't have to tie your No, that's why the fuck I was doing this. Because it was no, it was no inner tube. On 
Listen, Jimmy, you know I'll be medicated when I get to the airport. Listen, you fuck around and have a And all I kept on thinking, I was like, yo, if this shit would have failed, Southwest, I love y'all. I, I so appreciate it. It'd be so funny. Let me tell you, baby. Have a motherfucker bust down airline. But you know what? I think <laughs> it leads us to the question. That right. Denise, no, look, no rims. Y'all think I'm lying. I'm sure you didn't see that. I was here. Blaze, oh, right here. Your fault. Blaze, right here. Your bad. Right your bad. Right your bad. Right yeah, you're bad. A medication. Okay. Medication. I have a prescription. Somebody said three wheel motion. Yeah. That's what to me. Yeah. No, you know the wheelchair. Well, listen, guys, but that leads us to the question. So with all this celebrity attention, because I know we've had people like Taraji do a group yeah. where she just had the let's all come. We also have had Tamar Braxton oh. come out about her depression and her suicide attempt. So my thing is with all of the celebrity attention, do you guys really think that there's been any real change? Is it just yes, all, yes, maybe. <laughs> I believe, I believe. Your birthday too, yes. Right. So guys, doing so my, not strange for the change. Yeah. So you guys think that there's been any real progress that we've made over this last year with regards to removing a stigma as it relates to mental health and getting help when we know we need it. Right. Because I don't know. I, I really don't feel like we do. I still see all the negativity when people come forward. And I know we can't help that, right? right. I know. But I also still know there's a lot of people still suffering in silence and not saying anything right. out of fear. Mm -hmm. So, Gemma. Mm -hmm. Okay, the appointments are hard. Wow. So it so takes a month. People are to get that and they can't even they get, can't it. get it unless they do crisis. Because I know right. from Maryland, we're in Maryland. Yes. Right, but what? But, but, that's what we're talking about. And in Maryland, and in Maryland, and in all every state, every state's got a crisis. Yeah, yeah. A crisis What's response hotline. But, but, but you but can. That's the kind of insurance you have. Right, the kind of insurance you have that's and what your, and how many pages your ass got. So, no, I got mine quick and I don't have any pages. I got a pick appointment. When I, when, I was my, when I was looking for my therapist, I literally, it was quick. Well, let's. But, so it depends on how and where you can go in insurance. But insurance is one of the barriers we talked about in the last show. We talked about it being a barrier. Right. 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 Yeah, it depends on your criteria. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, the thing is, most people are virtual. Most people, a lot of appointments, like I know for me, I started virtual, and I probably was a lot faster. And it does matter. I again, guys, I think insurance. Were you saying? What were you saying? Hey, I love those glasses. Were you saying something? Oh. But yeah, definitely, we talked about in our last show how insurance is a barrier. It definitely freaking is, because I'm telling you, mm -hmm. these clinicians are not dying to get Medicaid clients, and it's so it's so terrible. I mean, and in a way, I kind of see it on both ends. They're literally like, it's going to take me forever to get this little bit of money. I'm going to have to fill out 10 pages. Pretty much until you, yeah. We have some really good comments to drop in here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what my so Tony says that she believes some progress has been made. Okay. So we want to definitely help this thing. Yeah. Um, we also got it's been hard for me to find some good help. Yeah. That is true. true. Um, and so there's a couple of uh 
places that, you know, is virtual. It's a couple places that's black mental health, like specific, if that's what you're looking for. Um, but throughout the course of the night, we'll be dropping things into the group, some resources for you guys, just, you know, for you to kind of use as a tool to find somebody if you don't have somebody already. Yeah, because I wonder, honestly, is it that it's hard for people to find clinicians or is it that they don't know where to go? That, and it could be all of it. It could be all of it. Yeah, that could be a barrier. And I'm with Amisha. Amisha, definitely. Without a doc, to push drugs, drugs, drugs. drugs is always the top thing. I, don't like drugs. <laughs> I mean, it depends on what kind of drugs you're talking about. <laughs> you can... Listen. <laughs> them happy pills. Them right. Them happy pills be essential, you know. Happy pills in, co in conjunction with uh, psychotherapy. And I work with Sometimes crisis Price response drops, drops the ball. Acts of freaking living. in crisis, yeah. And I was going to mention that. So even with the crisis response, oh, I've done nonprofit shit for almost 20 years. And so I know crisis response is run by people that don't get paid a lot of goddamn money and, and, get, is, and overworked. And because they were essential and are essential, they've been working through COVID. Um, chances are without a damn pay raise, okay? And so we are... And they're overbooked. You know what I'm saying? There's so much mental health going on that we are relying on these minimum nonprofit agencies that's low funded for the most part to be able to like react and respond to a crisis. Yeah. But then even with if that doesn't work, they might come with the police. Yeah. And so we already know that that brings an extra barrier of whether or not we're even going to call crisis response because of the relationship that we have with law enforcement right now. I've had to call the police before, though. Yeah, but they this took her to the hospital, though. They were actually really nice. I was in a situation where I had. They were actually really nice. I was shocked. I had the thought to call the police and or rely on somebody. The tourists and they were fine. Right. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, you got, you got, you got, I, was like, I don't know. I'm not gonna say all law enforcement. I got law enforcement. I don't right. think I got lucky. I think that it's just that there's some. It's a bad act. Right. But what I'm saying is, is when you're dealing with mental health, there's mm -hmm. already the crisis, especially in the black or uh, real urban type situation. Mm -hmm. If there's a mental and we have seen people mm -hmm. that have suffered, been diagnosed and are ex exhibiting mental health crisis mode and mm -hmm. get shot down by the police in the middle mm -hmm. street. Mm -hmm. So like that in itself is like a barrier of whether or not I even want they to don't know. With the right. Because you got the good part. They don't know they and they don't know. explain. Right. Yeah. That's what you're they're like, oh my God, they're just trying to kill me. Oh my God, they're just trying yeah. to kill me. They don't want to do yeah. Crisis. Right. 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 Exactly. That's right. That's right. They don't teach them to be able to Right. Right. They'll call. Give it a little bit to try to de escalate the situation. Like, not even that. Balance point, yeah. Tom, I'm gonna say thank you so much, guys, that are dropping resources. Because listen, guys, we're a family. Yes, we cut up and have a good time, but we also have to support each other yeah, yeah. and all of our journeys, and we all have different ones. Right. So definitely, you. I love. Oh, Gladstone is really good. Who yeah. did somebody just do? I, I yeah. actually. Oh yes, I actually love Gladstone. They're mm -hmm. yeah. Oh my gosh, yes, really, really good. You know, you know recommendation for what kind of pill? <laughs> you know, need a recommendation for what kind of pill you might want to call with? Oh, the Max, Topa Max. Okay. Oh, and, and that's my word now in our community. Why? Oh, and Nicole Fox should get you on. And dropping some information for psychotherapy virtually as well. So this has been a good conversation. It. It's been a really, really good conversation, guys. I got another question. What's another question? What you got? 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 Hold on. Keep talking. Well, what you call a stall? Really, really, really I love talking to y'all. I love it. So, you know, guys, like we were talking about, I think that it's really good that we drop resources so that we can support each other. Because my thing is something that you might know, I, I might not know. Like you said, uh, V, you said Gladstone. That's really good. I like them. I, I think Shepherd Pratt's Crisis Walking works sometimes. It works. Um, oh, yeah. Gladstone works good with them. I mean, it, it really has been very, very helpful for me to be able to, instead of calling crisis, instead of calling 911, if I feel like, hey, if you feel like your young one or your loved one, can you can transport them safely on the Shepherd Pratt crisis walk-in. Yeah, it's actually been very, very helpful. 
So, Gemma, thank you so much for chiming in. I love you guys. Thank you guys, audience, our audience, for chiming in and digging in. Thank you, little sis, for driving across town to be a part of this. Thing. Thank you, thank you, thank you, big bro. You know I love you. You got any crab legs? Y'all motherfuckers, stay making some damn same crab legs and stuff. There we go, 904 Wellness. Yes, yes, yes. Give me the thumbs up if y'all remember the song. Oh, oh, oh. He's trying to. Oh, there you go. There you go. Okay. Yes, thank you, Amisha. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us. I got a question. I got a question. I got a question. Hey, guys, after this, I got a question. Do y'all think we raised some punk ass kids? Because listen, we had this song that was Jonah. We started the show. We the defense. the show. We started with my mama on crack rock. You okay. feel me? We had songs uh, that talked about. Okay. Yeah. So the question, repeat the question thing. Do you think we raised some punk ass kids? No. Uh uh, wait a minute. He said, he said, hell yeah. He said, hell yeah. I mean, just in general. In general, guys. Without, if our generation, if our generation raised a punk ass kid, we can say these people outside. So it's our generation raising punk ass kids, not us specifically. Uh-huh. So let's talk about it. I'm just saying we, we know what mental health is real. We just talked about it. I ain't saying about the kids that got diagnosis. I ain't saying that. But like the, but what about diagnosis but, but but what but what's this these fucking grown ass kids not want to walk around talking? Can I get in the car? Can I sit down? I'm tired. My, I don't want to eat. Can we order Chipotle? Can we do pizza? Can we do this? Can we? And it's like, damn, I cook. You feel me? And, then, and you ain't allowed to touch them. Because then the people come. When the Oh, yeah, you're right. All right. You, you, you went to bed a many hungry. I mean, some of y'all know what I'm talking about. But D said, but D and our audience said, do you remember the time when if you didn't eat what was what was given, you were hungry? Now I will say this. I will. I don't. I don't, I don't know that I, well, it's not, I don't know. I wouldn't use the terminology that T used, but I do believe that this generation Z and X, they are a different breed. I do not understand hey, Raina, why the they are complaining about having so much more than what we had. Like, I can't, I, like, going, even going to school, like, Victoria had her own car, she could stay home, she has no bills. Like, I can't remember going through school and not struggling and being broke and being on a bus. Struggle, like I don't understand. We these kids have so much already, but they act as if they have nothing. And, and you, I'm going to say that. And you got pay, you got pay up for shit. I ain't oh, never had a lot. My little shit. Two feet of snow. We were still walking. Two feet of snow. We walking snow. And you better ride everywhere where they won't go. And you better shuffle the snow on your goddamn way to school. I agree with you on that. These kids don't shovel no. I was waiting for the little boys to come and shuffle my snow. Where are you at now? And it's a whole two But you know what? But you know what? But you know what? Okay, what Raina say? We'd have to sit our asses at the tables and then <laughs> it all fell asleep and then got to sit to bed. Yeah, I, I done fell asleep on the table like this. I, I got woke 
Wait, I, and you couldn't yeah. waste nothing. Do y'all remember that? You couldn't waste shit. Tony said because they ain't entitled. Yeah, Tony, I agree with you. They definitely do you feel entitled. What story? Oh, we both were sitting there. Time. We both had to do that. Yours was eggs, but mine was not potatoes. I had to warm up the Even more until I threw up. Oh, she threw up on a school bus and it was all over her uniform. Because she she was, my grandmother forced her to eat the motherfucking eggs. Oh, my God. That's That's what, okay, well, my thing is, I, I spit up on some newspaper. My grandmother made me dig that shit out the trash can and still eat. <laughs> Rest in peace. I was saying, I think I'm a Jimmy was like, it's not the kids, it's everyone around. It's it's the environment. The way that you around right. the society they keep dealing with every single day. Yeah. Basically tells them everything you told them was wrong. Right. So he's made Right. Oh, that's a lie. That's a whole lie. That's a whole lie. That's a whole lie. That's a whole lie. But basically, both of your kids are safe. Right. Okay, and that's fine. She don't. <laughs> right. Well, that's how we got ready. Because my brother used to talk shit about me all the time. You're like, motherfucker, you ain't shit. Da, da, da. Like, we got Joan doing in our houses and in our space. So it's like, that's how we got it. I was like, ain't this motherfucker. Listen, I'm not saying. You don't want to keep the end of the world, honey. It's they talk about your ass at third. They talk about your ass at third. It's about your ass at third. Now, but now they're going to be. They're going to be. And because they made me feel yeah, like, I told, I told, I'm like, I'm just boot camp. This is boot camp. Yeah, this I was boot camp. She felt real passionate about that. She wanted to get y'all an opinion about that. Yeah. She definitely did. But I mean, I think that, like, I, I think it's a, it's a, it's a combination of the environment. Like D said, you are rearing them a certain way, and then the community and the neighborhoods and everybody in the society says, "Oh no, you don't have to," and they make give them excuses to yeah. use and and call them like well, strategy diagnosis. Oh my God, these diagnosis for these kids. Please, I'm sorry, Nicole. I, I know Nicole here, but somebody's that diagnosed. If you ain't got the latest clothes, the latest clothes or brands, you're teased and shamed for it. These kids are super emotional humans. Yes, they are. You got I, one more. Yes. One more. I have been guilty of doing too much for my kids because I was trying to compensate for some of the shit I put them through. It wasn't right, but I did. I mean, we all been guilty of that, Raina. I don't even worry about it. We all been guilty of that. But it's a balance. It's a balance. Because like you give them, but you also discipline them and let them know what time it is, too. So, hey, that's what I'm saying. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining us, Tia. We wrapping up a lot. Oh, I'm so sad to see. We had a ball today. We thank y'all oh, for showing oh up and showing the fuck out yes. and hanging with our goofy asses on the fucking ground. We definitely appreciate it. Thank I'm you. I'm going to go get highly medicated because my body hurting like a bitch. And stay tuned you for really? victimless soldiers. Make sure y'all buy it. We got victimless soldiers coming. Hey, book the t first and experience. Let me build my ass up to y'all even and do some goofy shit. I, I do events for um education and shit. So we I do all do that. Hey, couple like that black guy know what it is. We're going to be live tomorrow at 10 a.m. for our self-care Saturday. Check in. Uh, that's just that she might do with the 10th hour. Listen, Pussy McCall back. We back at noon on Sunday. It's going down, baby. We're going to turn up and turn out on this motherfucking Friday. Let's party. I did it. You ain't did it. Yes, I did it. I did it. You ain't did it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Watch out. Shit. Come on. Come on, Katie. I'm going to go find her some rhythm. We'll be back.